Hi there, my name is Cheese Burn, and I want to show you how to get started with MVVM Cross. And for this purpose, I want to show you uh, a tool called MVX Scaffolding, um, which is a tool by Jonathan Froon. Um, it's a set of templates for the .NET templating system. Um, so obviously it requires you to have .NET installed uh, prior to that. It requires .NET SDK 2.1.4 or newer. Um, but let's, let's get started with this. So the first thing you would do is to run .NET new install um, MVX scaffolding. I've already done this a couple of times before, um, but uh, it will be super quick. And what it enables you to do is to run a couple of new, like new the .NET new commands, which is uh, how you create a new template uh, or a new .NET app. And then it provides these templates, MVX native and MVX forms. There's some documentation that you can read of how this uh, .NET CLI tool uh, works. Um, there's a bunch of arguments that you can pass to it. Uh, it would be out wise to just skim it um, before we get started. But we can just quickly get started by running the example command here, which then creates a new MVVM cross native app that is called my Xamarin app. And the solution name will be my Xamarin app as well. You can customize it to your liking. What this will then create is a core project, a, um, a Android project, and an iOS project uh, with the arguments uh, that you can pass to this uh, to this command. You can enable UWP as well and uh, and testing and UI testing projects as well. Um, if we take a look at how the structure looks here. So it will create a solution in the, uh, in the root, and then there will be a source folder with each project below. Um, let's try open this. Right, so it's a it's a pretty flat structure here. You have a solution items folder and you have a core project, Droid project and iOS project where everything you need to, to do is uh, to get started with a MVM cross app is already done for you. So you already have a setup file and you already have uh, some basic uh, views that you can use and extend to your liking. Um, Let's try to run the Android project and see how it goes. Just resize this so you can see the entire screen. All right, so it's already deploying and we should be up and ready to run and customize the app to our liking. Ta-da! Now you're up and running um, and it will obviously work the same for iOS where uh, in this case it will just have a, a single entry point um, and now you're ready to to do whatever you want with, uh, with the app. So thank you for watching. Um, have a nice day. Bye-bye.